In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends in Christ, in today's reflection, I would like to talk about the Blessed Trinity, the Holy Trinity, the God of love, the God of light, the God of mercy and faithfulness. I love him with all my heart. I love him. I do. I, um, I want to share this video. It's been a while um, since I had an experience that really touched my life, that really changed my life. It happened in 2019, December 2019. I had an experience that really touched me deeply and really drew me closer to the Holy Trinity, you know, to love him more, to praise him as I should. So the picture you will see in this video really touched my heart. And those are the, the picture that I took um, in December 2019 during the experience I had. So I have written a book based on this experience, the book called The Holy Trinity, An Urgent and Important Message. If you are interested in getting this book, you can reach me through the email in my channel. I have not gotten it on online yet, but for now, if you want to reach me, you can um, contact me through the email. So my dear friends, um, I really want to share this video so uh, you know about the importance of paying attention, recognizing, loving, and coming closer to God. Because the more you come close to him, the more you love him. The more you love him, the more you want to please him. You want to adore him. You want to worship him. You want to do his will. You don't want to hurt him because you love him. It's normal logic. You don't want to offend the one that you love. You want to please the one that you love. You want to stay away from sin. You don't want to really offend the person. It's the same thing with God. The more you experience him, the more you love him, the more you want to come close to him. The more you want to please him. And in so doing, we are paving our way to heaven, which is our final destination. The question is, who are you? And where are you going? The question is, who am I? And where am I going? So if we know our final destination is heaven, so anything we can do to win the heart of God, to come close to him, to make him happy, that's the best way and best thing to do. So my dear friends, I want to share this experience I had. And the picture you will see there, the first picture there, the picture of an angel formed by a cloud. You can see the angel is bowing down to something. So um, it's bowing down. It's not very clear, but when I took the picture, it was really very big. But unfortunately, it's the sky. You cannot be able to take it very clearly. So uh, it happened prior to this experience, I had seen a picture of the Holy Trinity where I saw God the Father. In that picture, God the Father was looking so sad and I felt so sad. I was touched. I was like, oh my goodness. He must be sad because of the sins of the world. He must be very sad. He might be regretting creating us because after creating us and after even giving up his son to suffer, we are still not grateful. We are still sinning against him. So I felt so sad and I promised him that I will make him happy. I will be singing and dancing, you know, just to make him happy. So, and I begged him to help me to keep my promise. And he has been doing that. I've been singing to him and, and dancing and, and recognizing him. So I formed a routine 
or singing his praises, dancing on my way to work. So on such days, I will have already I have already uh, finished praising and singing and everything, and I started my rosary when that image of an angel appeared in the sky. Wow, I loved it. I said, oh my goodness, this is really amazing. I don't want you to leave. I don't want you to go. Please don't go. <laughs> so, but I have to turn left and enter that other lane, another uh, highway. Of course, I'm not supposed to see the image again, but the image resurfaced. I was so, so happy to see it again. And one man told me, why not take a picture? And I took a picture, the image, and I got more than I imagined. The image that I saw was very tiny, as you can see that angel, you can, you can barely see it in the main image. You know, but these three circles of light, wow, was so big and beautiful. And I looked at it and I said, three circles of light united. One light, but three. Three, but one. <gasps> the Holy Trinity. Of course, I'm so obsessed with him in a positive way. I've been praying, I've been singing his praises. Wow, that is my definition of what, of what I saw and the definition of the picture in front of me. I don't know about you. It's up to you, but define it. Because my sister, the first time I showed her, she defined it and immediately she found the answer. She looked at it and said, oh wow, they are three, three in one. <gasps> Holy Trinity. And my dear friends, I'm not saying that, you know, I, I'm, I must let you know, as of course you know that you can never comprehend the Holy Trinity as impossible as humans. We can never comprehend him. But sometimes God reveals himself the way he wants. That's God. He can do whatever he wants in his own way. But it's so beautiful. And I must attest that after this experience, I have really grown so much, you know, close to him, to want to. And the more I worship him, the more I, I tell him that I love him, the more I love him, the more I want to love him. So <laughs> I, it's undescribable. I can't really tell everything that happened. Most of them, I really, we, I already explained everything in the book. Uh, but I just want to share this and also the pictures. So what I learned from these pictures that I took and my experience is that God is yearning for our love. God is yearning for us to love him, to come close to him, to tell him that we love him, to praise him, and worship him because he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be worshipped. For us to learn from these three circles of light that are united, is preaching to us to be united in love. Instead of separation, fighting one another. They don't fight each other. They work together. Three persons, but yet, yet one. They work together. They love each other. It's preaching love for one another and love for him. That is what I understood from the Holy Spirit. And I wish to share it with you. Also, the name of my um, channel is Divine Mercy Rays of Light. Someone said the light and rays has been following you. And I believe because the first picture you will see after this talk, you allow the pictures to come out. First picture, it was the picture I took when I visited someone in the hospital. I don't have money, but I bought a lot of things and I, I gave her, I stayed with her. On my way home, I took a picture. I don't even remember that. It was later on, I was trying to clean off certain things that I saw it. I was amazed. Wow, it's so beautiful. And the other pictures that you see was when I traveled to Jamaica and 
and I took some pictures with um, a sister, my sister that I visited, and a cousin. And the cousin actually didn't really believe exactly the three circles of light. Was like, oh, um, well, not that he didn't believe, but it wasn't that strong. But God chose him to really also take the picture because there are two people, two persons taking the picture. It didn't come out in one in one camera, but it came out in the one that he was taking. You know? <laughs> so it was even the one that called me to say, look at those pictures. Look at what I found. I was like, wow. It's true. The other one is the blood and the water. The mercy of God. The love of God upon human beings. I'm not showing that this is going to be um, really special or there's something about me. No, it's just he just wants to, he just wants to show his love to us, you know, to us human beings. It's up to us for us to reciprocate his love. Okay. So, um, my dear friends, um, the message is for us to see the love of God manifesting every day of our life. Sometimes he comes out in pictures. Sometimes he allows himself to be seen. It's it just a way of calling us to come back to him. We see a lot of things happening in this world. The best thing is for us to be free. And true freedom is when we are following the right way, when we are doing something right. So it doesn't really matter. Whatever that happens, you know, you are with God. You have get the best of bets. So my dear friends, please let us turn to God. Let us love him. Let us show him, not only showing him, let us also tell him that we, we love him. There's this picture in my room. The um, blessed, um, blessed, um, sacred heart of Jesus and also uh, Lady of Grace. So I'm in the habit of, before I leave, I'm just good to say, I love you. I love you. And the day, maybe I'm so much in a hurry, I didn't remember. A one will say, Hey, are you not forgetting anything? <laughs> I have to rush back to say, I love you. I love you. You know? So God creates for our love and attention. So let us give that to him because he deserves it. My dear friends, please subscribe to my channel. I can see some people look at it, but it's very important that you subscribe, you know, so that you can get the latest videos. And also I will like us to also um subscribe to a channel that i found so recently and it's really very enriching it's very beautiful it's called soul sisters and brothers arena tv so if you can also subscribe to that channel it's beautiful as well so my dear friends may god bless you and your family amen